Let's kill this deer just for... Just because we can. Hello, welcome to the video. So let's collect the AFK again. This is Swarm of Destiny. It's pretty much you start with just this building and this little dwarf guy. Then you unlock this battle witch. And with the witches, well, I guess I can show this also. You activate this mine relic and it boosts a mine like this one. And this one produces a lot more. You can even upgrade it. There we go. And with the witches, you attack. Attack these three monsters. And we are destroying it. You have these skills here. Oh, well. Now this is a pretty interesting thing about the game. Pick between three chests. One has a big reward, but a very small chance to, you know, work. Miller chest has a smaller reward, but still pretty big. 40 chance to have something in it, and 60 chance it's empty. And the top one is 100% chance, only 780 million, compared to like 3 billion and 7 billion. But you always get something. I usually pick these ones. You're not getting screwed with this, but you're not getting lucky either. Level up the witches. There's actually a witch relic. Now you will get more XP. Every time you defeat this guy, you unlock a building, like one of these rooted buildings. And whenever you have filled out this row, you simply gain these gems here at the corner. So you can see here we have two more buildings to unlock. So if we attack this guy, we should be fine, I think. We have healing spell, blocking spell, and poison damage. There we go, we healed up pretty good. And we win. And we get a new building. And we get a chest. Now we gain 20 of these red bark things. I guess that's bark. One is even on fire. You see these uh, deers. You can click on them. You can actually pick one. And they gain a small amount of XP, I think. Oh, well, uh, now we missed the fight, but oh well. Anyway, you get some gems for it. The deers get one shot, so it's not much to see. All right, we need to rebuild this. Now you see this dwarf was mining before, and now we see a building. Once he's done building, he will go back to mining. And I think we will get a new dwarf from this portal here. This is where friendly units come from. And there we go, a new dwarf. And here's a big deer. There we go, sap the deer. Oh, it leveled up. Yes, we gain some XP from it. You can uh, double treasure add it, and we just collect it. Essence Unicorn. I guess we will take it out. Once again, you can double it, or you can just collect it. Now we gain some of these bark. I call them barks, but I don't think that's the proper name. So we have this fairy here. It seems to boost Battle Witch, which is the first witch you get. Game by 3%. Not sure how you upgrade it. That's pretty much the game I was going to say, but there is actually one more thing. This little match. Two things that are equal. Merge into something. Let's merge into something. That you then click and you get these garlic gloves. Not sure what they are. Once it reaches this stage, you can just click on it. I'm going to see what happens if I merge it again. I haven't done that before. Well, while that's uh, recharging, let's look at this. This is cards. I guess that was you used to upgrade the fairies. Once you fill up the bar, they upgrade or you can summon them. These are level zero. This is level one. You get a daily chest for free. You have to click on it a few times. And this is how you get the cards. You can watch an ad to get another one. Now you see these garlic gloves here. You need 50 to buy a forest chest, which is pretty much a bigger chest. And that's what you use this little mini game for. Uh, okay, now you can't do that. Once you touch it, it explodes into garlic. We build the last room to unlock the ice world. So there is another world to this. I think there's more than one extra world. So I have uh, turned off pretty much all effects. My computer isn't the best. This is a 3D game. They're usually a bit more demanding on the graphic card. And the graphic card is my killer's heal. So the swords here is my power. Let's attack this one one more time. Did it have 101 and I have over 1000? I feel like I, I should be absolutely crushing it. If so, well, I guess I am doing that. I guess maybe that's the total damage I do each turn. Mm, I'm not sure. But we get a new building, a new chest. With some more bark. I'm not sure what the bark is used for. Well, I guess that's exactly what the bark is used for. This building. 
before the minions of the mystical creatures arrived, that's the threes, the dwarf smith used to relax in this forge. Sometimes when he had nothing better to do, he crafted his specialty with help of essences, the bark. Powerful mind boost. How much can you get me? So the witch runs out from the training station and shoots the deer and we loot it. Don't need to kill these guys because I can't use them. Well, I guess I have to kill uh, the three again. Actually, let's kill this one. Maybe I can grind through this a few times and get the money. Oh, that one did 2000. That's insane. Critical damage. Yeah, that's the better witch. And we win. Let's try this third chest. Hey, we got lucky. 900 billion. Hmm. So this is another witch booster. 10% more XP. 180. Right. Let's kill this guy. Well, I guess there's nothing to it. Kill this guy again. Too bad I didn't know about the special building. I would have, uh, you know, unlocked it before I started recording. I feel like this should be automatic. Like, there's no reason you would not want to use a damage spell. Yeah, I will never make it if I take the safe option. How much do I get from you? So there is one more witch to unlock. Not sure what it has for special ability. I would like to mention that uh, this game has no forced ads at all. And I think the only ads you get are these uh, double reward stuff and uh, extra chest. Damn, I was gonna gamble. This thing, I'm just gonna watch an ad. Why not? Oh, we get Eidolon. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I feel like this is a new ad, actually. Oh yeah, that's the new ad he made. Someone made for him. It's pretty good looking, not gonna lie. And we didn't get enough to summon our fairy. Let's attack this guy again. There is never a time when you don't want to use the poison and critical damage. Honestly, blocking and healing should pretty much be spammed as well. This guy do constant damage, you will always take damage and you always want to be blocking. Wait, did two of my uh, witches actually die there? Yeah, we won't get lucky twice. Let's see. Oh, we got lucky. Hey, so this guy is healing. Let's kill it there and let the witches heal up a bit. Yeah, let's watch another ad. Let's see what we get. Space Rover. I hate these type of controls, but I guess that's mobile gaming for you. They're just really annoying with the mouse. Not really the game's fault. There we go. How much do we need? Uh, we need a bit more. Well, let's do this guy again. If we get lucky, we win. No, we did not get lucky. Shit. Ah, I would have had enough. Now we gotta kill this guy. Well, someone is healing. Come on, heal up. So can we get lucky this time? No, we got unlucky again. Come on. And he actually dropped some gems as well, so that's fine. Right, let's try again. Let's kill this guy. So let's just pick the normal one. I think we have enough. There we go. Rebuild it. 20 second timer. That's pretty good. Ooh, five trillion. Home to a valued member of the swarm, the protector, which is one of our invulnerability. Great, you finally rebuilt the mine forge. Use the essences you get of defeating minions to craft powerful mind boosters. Yeah. These guys are the swarm, the witches. These guys are the minions. So yeah, the names are a bit uh, not what you expected. Umbra Screamer, Plague Wraith, Hollow Snake. Rust morph. Not sure what coming soon means. Broken portal to the cold world that was once built by a goblin. Rebuilt it and it might grant access to the ice world. So yeah, this game is in development. So I'm not sure if there is ice world. For example, a week ago this wasn't here. It was just an attack button. Ooh, it's trying to eat. Well, we can't allow that. So we kill it. Who is the good guys again? Click on a button to switch between crafting and recipe view. Let's craft that. Not sure what the recipe view is. That one maybe? Yeah, they should make this button pop a bit more. You just crafted your first booster, select the mine and click on the empty slot to assign a booster. Well, we have actually a lot of things we can craft. Let's upgrade it. Oh, three minutes. Mm, I'm guessing you are the best one. Oh, I can't. Okay, so I'm upgrading the one I crafted. I thought I upgraded the forge, but I guess this works too. It's fine. Okay, so let's collect it. Now let's not upgrade it. Let's pick a random mine. Select the booster. Oh, and there we go. So we gain 641k extra. Actually, I'm gonna remove it. Let's try it out. Give it to this one. Usually the latest mine is the best one. This one gave 12 million extra. Yeah, that's much better. And that's pretty much the game. Let's kill this deer just for... Just because we can. 
And let's craft a booster. 12 out of 13 boosters crafted. So you can't have... Uh... Well, I guess there's only 13 mines. No point in letting the player to craft more than 13, because they won't be able to use more than 13. And when this bar fills up, you get a big boost in production. So if you see one that's about to hit a milestone, you should focus on that one. This one is the next one at level 100. There we go. I think I'm going to call it here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.